Okay, so Carolina played bad this game to me watching it and but I don't think it was bad in uh, oh they were sluggish they were playing sloppy because I actually don't think from what I saw uh, Carolina played sloppy this game uh, just watching the game I they were making good plays I think there were some good passing out there they were tape to tape you know like they made some things that were right but they were getting out work to me. Like, Carolina didn't really seem to want it this game. And for a cup contender, that's not something you want to see. Obviously, I don't know why I'm saying that like that's news. Like a team not showing initiative. But yeah, this was the first game for me. And it felt different from other games where I called them out for not playing well. Where they didn't seem like they wanted it they weren't working hard you know like it was like they were getting outworked and this is honestly the first game where i think carolina has really gotten outworked even like because objectively speaking this was an even game i mean tampa especially in the first when they got those two goals i think the first period is maybe the worst period carolina's played all season but like, and then people point, like, I saw people saying that Carolina was just shooting at the blue line and not really taking any quality chance shots. I disagree. I saw Carolina shooting from the high slot. I think part of it was Vasilevsky, probably the best goalie in the world, shut the door. And I'm not going to be mad because they didn't score a goal. When you're playing Andre Vasilevsky, he's going to shut the door sometimes. Like, <laughs> Andre Vasilevsky is that good. But Carolina, to me, watching this game course i watched the game that's why i'm talking about it we're just getting out work tampa seemed to be the harder working team which for a team that prides itself on hard work i think is unacceptable and if you're odd you gotta i mean they play tomorrow but if carolina doesn't play better tomorrow you gotta back skate and to me tomorrow is the most important game of the season they're going up against a team they're now tied two and two they gave up a "Quote unquote series regular season series lead in these past two games, and you got to get it back. Carolina's got to come out, and they got to fight. They got to fight that next game to really show, hey, you know what? This is our turn to bounce back, and I think they will. I think this is a team with a great coach who hopefully will sign the extension. Tom Dundon says it's going to get done. I think Tom Dundon didn't say that about John Forslund. He did not say that about Charlotte, and most importantly." He said it about Rod Brindamore. So I think Rod Brindamore is going to stay with the team. And you think I uh, rant um, before, which I don't really think I have, but you want to see me rant if Rod Brindamore leaves Carolina. <laughs> but he won't. He will not. I'm just going to, yeah. Uh, sorry, I'm tired, guys. So, like, you know, I stayed up an extra two hours to actually sit down and watch the game. I actually saw on Twitter Carolina lost and actually procrastinated doing it, and now I'm staying up later and talking about the game even later. So I'm sorry, my brain's all over the place. But, yeah, back to, I think Brendan Moore's a good coach, and I think he's going to come back and Carolina's going to fight harder. Because for me, this was just a low-effort team, and, this, and Brendan Moore, his strength has always been getting his team to work hard. So I have no doubt that Carolina's going to put, you're going to see pushback from Carolina tomorrow. I firmly believe it because I want to believe it that Carolina is not going to let these two losses in a row go back to back. And it's important because if Carolina loses tomorrow, even though it's all been against one team, they're on a losing streak. And Carolina, for their hot start, the way you ruin a hot start is going on a losing streak. And yeah, so tomorrow, big game. Tomorrow's a big game. And I just said that, but I'm saying it again because it is. To me, up to this point, by far the biggest game of the season is the game tomorrow against Tampa. Now, as for player of the game, I think all in all, I think Jacob Slavin had an okay night. Dougie Hamilton didn't do much. You know, Brady Shea, I thought, made some mistakes. But for me, I would say the fourth line all... I think the fourth line had a good game, actually. Faust, Lorenz. I'm trying to remember who was the center on the line. But the Foss-Lorenz line, they did pretty well. This was honestly the least I paid attention to a game, to be honest, because I knew the Canes were going to lose, unfortunately, thanks Twitter. Shouldn't have been on Twitter. It's my fault. I'll take the blame. And I knew they weren't going to play too well. So, like, I was, like, I had some other stuff I had to worry about. So, while I was watching the game, I 
Uh, this was the only game I half watched, so I forget who was on the fourth line. Forgive me. I think Martinuk, but I think Carolina also misses Toivo. I think once Toivo comes, Carolina is a much better team with Toivo Teravainen. So I'll also say that while I'm naming player of the game because maybe part of me should just be like, oh, Toivo, he wasn't playing on this game, so he gets it. But yeah, uh, I would give it to Nadelkovic, obviously. Nadelkovic, head and shoulders above everyone else. I thought the fourth line had a good game again. But yeah, so that's it. Short video because I'm tired and this game was bad. And there's not really a lot to dissect about this game or bring up. So, but comment down below, most importantly, what you guys thought about the game. I've been getting a lot of feedback both on Reddit and on YouTube, and I really like that. I'd like to see that uh, continue. And unfortunately, I will say uh, there are bots posting um, hookup site links that I delete as soon as I see them. Unfortunately, I can't always see them. So, uh, yeah, just uh, report them if you see them in my co in my uh, comment section because, you know, I want to talk about hockey, not have you guys sign up for scammy dating sites. So um, it's kind of funny, but, you know, at the same time, it's like, yeah, I... Uh, uh, part of me wants to become a quote-unquote big YouTuber, as in like 200 subscribers, so they kind of vanish a little bit, but hey, what are you going to do? But yeah, I just want to let you guys be aware of that. I think I posted a comment at one point that yeah, p there are people posting the hookup sites of like that you see from Pornhub, so yeah, it's unfortunate, but it was something that I felt I needed to address personally in a video. You know, I think uh, right now, until I can get that sorted out with the bots as much well as I can, if you get annoyed by the YouTube comment section, you can go over and comment on Reddit. I'll reply as much as I can. And uh, if you guys like the content I'm producing on the channel, uh, please hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys tomorrow at 7 p.m. This time I was on Sharp. You know, this video is probably my least favorite video I've made so far, but I was on top of the game, so... I'll uh, see you guys tomorrow.